This wasn't the first place that you uh, wrestled Owen Hart. I believe that was in Germany or worked with him. But um, how was it like working Owen Hart back in those days? I'm going to ask you a couple of Owen Hart questions. because I first time I wrestled Owen Hart was in Japan. Oh, right. And uh, he, he really helped me out. He showed me how to uh, order food, get around, get to the gym. And then I went to Germany with Otto Vons. And I was on a long tour with him. On that tour was also Scott Hall, Fit Finley, Dave Taylor, Chris Benoit, Razor Ramon, PM News. And that's all the guys that were there when I was there. But we were in Germany for like eight months. I was going to, uh, I had a bit of a cheeky question. I was actually going to say, uh, you wrestled with some pretty big names in Germany and also PM News. Oh. Uh... <laughs> So, ah, oh, never mind. I, I, well, I'll tell you what, let's go straight to the uh, German tours then. So do it. I'd actually be more familiar with them because I'm slightly too young to get the British wrestling, but I'm very familiar with the round system. So how does one tailor uh, your uh, style to uh, the round system rather than the American style? Oh, it's easy, man. It's work is working, bro. You just, you know, you learn real quick because, you know, you, it, it takes seconds to learn. All you have to do is watch a round match then just change your psychology up. It, it's not difficult at all. It's kind of cool. Um, I enjoyed Germany. I really did. I had a great time over there. Uh, I learned a lot. But see, the type of it's called catch wrestling. Catch wrestling was different than this wrestling. I mean, the same concept. But it was a little, you know, with the rounds different. But it wasn't hard to master. It was it was fun. And because it, it would be the things it would be the things that you did in between the rounds like you had a break between rounds and of course the heel would try to do stuff and it was it was fun you just had to change your psychology up which was good about it is you got to learn another style japan was a whole nother style american wrestling was a whole nother style but you just adapted man and it was uh and if you could work you could work and uh, i suppose you had quite a lot of practice to uh, do it in germany because i believe you were in a caravan and you were static and you were just in the same place for weeks on end wrestling, exact, you know, just wrestling every day in front of the same fans. So you had to get good but, quick. But there's no traveling. There's no traveling. And, and me and Steve talked about this yesterday. One of the hardest things about wrestling is not wrestling, it's the traveling. You travel so much. And so you would be like, we'd be in Hanover. We'd be in Hanover for 42 days. And you're in a caravan or you're in a trailer, I guess you call them caravans. And it's pretty cool. I never stayed in the caravans. I always, always, to be honest, I would go out and find girls and stay with their <laughs> houses. And then yeah, that's what I did because I would, oh, believe me. But uh, I, I, I stayed in the caravans for like three weeks. And then I just said, man, I could go stay with this girl, go stay with that girl. So that's what I did. But it was cool, man. And you're at the same building, food's available. Um, it, it's, it was, it was a learning experience and a good one, man. I have nothing but good memories of that time. Yeah. Do you remember Otto Vance as well? Did you ever get in the ring with him? Because I know he was a pretty mobile Many guy. Maybe was, he was a mobile I've guy in the seventies. I've taken the big auto brother. I've taken the big auto. Uh, <laughs> good dude. People don't know that he used to do strongman feats and he used to be have the record for being able to rip a phone book faster than anybody. Yeah. Good dude, man. Yeah. Good guy. He, he took care of me and uh, it was, he was, they called me Rocky Las Vegas. That was my name, Rocky Las Vegas. So he was a fair payoff man as well, would you say? Yes, at the time. Hmm. At the time, and they had it set up to where all my money was being shipped directly home. And so that's another reason I was like living with girls and stuff. I wasn't spending no money. I was up to just have it. And then you'd go to the, you'd go to the, the spots at night, you know, and they'd give you free drinks and people, it was, it was you're treated like a, a like a star, you know. You you're like a big star over there. It was great. I had a great time. 